Welcome back to the broadcast. You guys, springtime, sunshine, fashion, just a few of my favorite things. And Lee Nagel, founder of the Four Yellow Foundation, and Brett McKinney are here to tell us about the upcoming fashion show and luncheon. Welcome, you guys. Thank, thank you. So tell us about um, the Four Yellow Foundation and how this all started. Absolutely. The Four Yellow Foundation was started about a year and a half ago because I am an eight-year tomorrow anal cancer survivor. Woo! So uh, my husband Steve and I decided we wanted to do something to create awareness in the community okay. and to give back to the community and also globally. So we created these two events. We have a golf tournament and Dress for Yellow. Yes, and then Dress for Yellow, it's in its second year, correct? Second year. And everyone can come out, have a great lunch, and also Absolutely. catch a great fashion show with beautiful, I love that it's themed. I love a good themed fashion show with all the yellow Lots going down yellow. the runway. It's just so beautiful. So, it thank was beautiful you. last year and I'm thank looking you. forward to it this year. Thank you. Now Brett, you have brought some amazing fashion fashion with you to kind of show us, give us a little sneak preview of what to expect. Well, um, it's going to be a little bit different this year. Okay. Um, so the first dress I will show you, um, we always have some great local designers that um, contribute to this event and we do again this year. This is um, a beautiful gown with a 20s inspiration I feel to this. it um, by Isabel Varela. Her line is called Isabel and she is a Dallas girl. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Now, last year y'all did a, a mix of like cocktail, ready to wear, mm -hmm. a little bit of after five, a little bit of everyday. Is it going to be the same? Kind this of year, um, this year we have a featured designer um, that we're going to do a finale with, which is Escada. Okay. And the rest of the show, there's a couple other little surprises, but the overall theme is a vintage feel. The title this year is called In Vintage. I love so, it. So um, Tracy right here is wearing. This is a <coughs> brand new Escada dress from the spring summer. Um, 2013 collection. So that'll be the finale segment of the show. It's actually going to be all Escada, fresh. Um, the, they're fresh, fresh off the runway, current season, um, everyone. So that's sort of last year we did Abbey Fair, and this year we're doing Escada. And you know what I loved about this fashion show last year is fashion shows generally they show like about. 15, 20 looks. Y'all just kept them coming. Like, yeah. I kept thinking, it's not going to get better. They don't have another yellow dress back there. And y'all did. We yeah. found every yellow dress. Every yes, yellow dress that Dallas did. has to offer, you will see at this luncheon. So anyway, in true vintage theme, um, I have some great ladies uh, from Commonwealth Couture that just, um, they collect vintage dresses from everywhere. I love that. And she's doing a lot of my dresses are from her this year. This is a vintage 60s kind of a courage feeling dress um, from Saks Fifth Avenue. It still has the label in it. Oh my gosh. Um, on little Alencia here and um, for that sort of, I think it's still valid today. And it is. Um, I think that's what's mm -hmm. so great about a lot of the vintage things um, that you're able to find is um, from season to season based on how the trends move, they're valid still today. And I think everybody has fun pulling something out old and making mm -hmm. it new I again. I love this. And y'all bring so many great sponsors and advertisers together mm -hmm. for this event. Now, um, one of the big hospitals that y'all are working with is the Cook Children's. Cook Children's, yes. Yeah. So how did they kind of come about working working with the Dress for Yellow Luncheon? We, uh, my co-chair who currently lives in Australia, Jennifer Applebaum, she and her husband had a close relationship with the Fort Worth facility, Cook Children's, and they do just phenomenal work with children that have cancer. And that was really close to our heartstrings. It really got pulled with children. So we decided, you know what, that is just the epitome of the perfect place to give back. And, and the event is at the Adolphus. It's at the Adolphus. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful historic beautiful. hotel. Yes. Um, and last year, how many people came out last year for the dress for There were about 300 people. And are y'all expecting to top that this year? We're not going to top it. We don't want to top it. We want to keep it, keep it intimate, nice and intimate, and intimate, close and intimate, and beautiful. Lots of yellow. And, and everyone just looked beautiful. All the guests last year. You know, everyone turns it out at this event. Absolutely. From, people are in, I mean, it's, it starts at 10 a.m. and people are in cocktail dresses. People are in yellow suits. Men are in, you know, they've got yellow, yellow ties, ties, yellow jewelry. I mean, seriously, if you have anything yellow in your closet, people, you have to go to this. You Exactly. You have to bring it out. You um, have now, y'all also have the, there's a silent auction at the there's event. There's a silent auction called the Yellow Brick Road. I love that. Of course. And there are uh, tickets to be sold called the Pot of Gold, which is a chance drawing, which has three lo lovely packages that you can win. And uh, there's just lots of exciting things, a little bit different this year. Well, I'm excited. We're going to be there this year. So um, next Thursday, March 28th. You guys, like I just said, the Dress for Yellow event is next Thursday, March 28th at the Adolphus Hotel in Dallas. It starts at 10 a.m. Tickets are still available, you guys, and you can they can be purchased from their website at dressforyellow.com. 